Hello everyone and how is everyone doing? Um, so I wanted to take this moment to just show you that what I have been working on. Uh, I'm actually working towards a new course on CIFUI for macOS and only macOS development. So I think the best way to learn is to recreate some of the apps that Apple have created, like the Reminders app. So this is a a little bit similar app to the Reminders app. It's not 100% Reminders app, but it has been inspired from the Reminders app. All right, so this is a Mac OS app and it is already connected to uh, the core data. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and add a particular list. So I'm just gonna say Reminders. I'm gonna add a different color to it. So you can see my list is added. I can go ahead and add another one. Let's say Videos. And I can add more and more list, whatever I want. So let's say groceries. So similar to the reminders app, I can go to groceries and I can go ahead and say uh, buy fruit. And you can see that it says one item has been added, one item has been added, reminders. Uh, now a different list of reminders. So I'm just gonna say feed the rabbit. And I can go ahead and add also today, tomorrow, or a custom date. So tomorrow, save it, so it's now tomorrow. All right? There are some glitches in the app. Uh, you will see, you will uh, experience some of the glitches. So let's go ahead and edit by fruit to something else. I'm just gonna go ahead and say by cookies. You can see the first glitch, I guess. Uh, it did update, but it kinda reset everything or lose focus. Um, let's go ahead and change the date for buying the cookies to be 30th, which is tomorrow. That's great. Looks like it's working fine. Now let's go ahead and add some more tasks to the reminders. I'm just going to say uh, wash the car. And what I want to do is wash the car on a particular date. So I can go ahead and save it. There we go. And I can also say, uh, let's say mow the lawn. The mon doesn't really needs to be mon because mowed because it's not really uh, you know it's not really growing. But anyways, I've added that task. Now one of the things that I added over here is that if I click on this button, the check mark, you can see that immediately it doesn't really go away, right? So if you are trying to complete a task, it's not going to go away immediately. But if I just say feed the rabbit is done then after a couple of seconds it's gone. So I've also added that particular feature. Now if I want to delete groceries, I can right click on it and I can say delete. That will delete the groceries also. And all of this is connected to the core data database uh, or SQLite using the core data. And uh, it's no, there's no iCloud or anything because it's only Mac OS anyways. So you don't really need any iCloud. It's in Surf UI using MVVM design pattern. Uh, and I think it's a pretty nice looking app. So this will be one of the apps that I will be teaching you to how to make in my Swift UI for Mac OS development course, which will be launched next uh, year, uh, not next week, but next year in 2022. I'm still working on the course, uh, still a long way to go, but you can see it, uh, it looks pretty nice. I'm very happy with the result and uh, hopefully uh, you will also love it. So thank you so much and stay tuned for more.